Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest to goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller twins and a couple of Mexicans. Are they up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Marston. I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. We need to stick together, boy. Them rustlers might be waiting for us. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouth city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land, bringing modernization and betterment to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer, and it's killed a way of life. Stay with us, Marston. You never know. The Baller Twins might have set up an ambush. Are you sure we're the Baller Twins, Eli? Sure as shooting. I'd know those boys any place. Are these the same rustlers who've been causing the McFarlane so much trouble? If you want a boy to rope around your neck, I'd advise you to stay on two feet around that ranch, Marston. They rustle them one day and sell them in thieves landing the next. They've been making more money than they can keep dry. Nearly there. Come on. probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Coming from you, friend, that's a real compliment. Get 
There's a bridge up ahead. Get away the rustlers from me, are probably Austin? guarding it. What the heck? I need it more than you now. Stay with me. For the love of God. Damn, those baller twins got themselves an army. Yeah, rustling's a profitable business, and they ain't short on willing recruits these days. Why'd a man break his back working 12 hours a day for a rancher who can't afford to pay him? But the rancher can't pay him because those sons of bitches are robbing his cattle. Yep, it's one of them vicious circle things the marshal keeps going about. Beat those sons of bitches! We got to get to that ridge! Keep moving, boys! The marshal's by himself! Hey, a little assistance would be nice, Marston! <laughs> you sure put that feller to bed! Sweet mother of God! Ah! Marston got one! We should cross paths with the marshal up here! He's been giving them hell on the other side. That marshal of yours sure doesn't seem to mind getting his hands dirty. Oh, he ain't afraid to pull the trigger, all right. And he's been after these rustlers for a long time. he would tell you he's all about the book, letting the judge decide a man's fate, but he throws out plenty of his own justice, too. You might as well give it up now. What you doing back there? Well, goddammit, how many of these bastards are there? I'm the goddamn law. Your rest of the days are over. Curious. This way. All right, let's keep pushing forward, boys. Stop falling behind. We got to push forward. This way. We have to help you, quick! Oh my good God! I'm gonna be flying! We 
got a problem here! What can I say, Parker? Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman. Who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, Kim, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> 